Man, my favorite fishing memory. A lot of people fishing in Eupora, Mississippi with my grandma. Memory that I'll never forget. I mean, I can picture it. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> You know, you always remember certain things in fishing, and you know, one of my f the things I'll never forget, you know, was was my was the first marlin I caught, you know. And I, I've got lots of memories of bass fishing, and all that, but we always talk about bass fishing. But I, I just remember I, I was I was young, and I was in Cabo Cabo San Lucas, and uh, I never caught a marlin. And man, when this marlin bit, you know. I just remember, you know, I was throwing a big old, like a 50 wide reel and big baits. And when that marlin hit, you know, you can't even explain to anybody the power that a marlin has. And, and, and I remember, it, it, you know, it started smoking that line. I mean, smoking it. And I remember thinking to myself that they, we, might, we must not even have the drag on. He took so much line. And, uh, but we did, and he probably ran out, you know, 250, 300 yards of line. And, and I remember looking, you know, where my line was, you know, going in the water, and I'm fighting the fish, and the marlin's jumping, like, in front of the boat, 400 yards away, you know. So it, it just, people ask me why I'm eating up with the saltwater deal, and, and, and that's it. I mean, I can't explain to anybody that's never done it how hard they pull. You'll never know. And if, if it's on your bucket list, you need to go, you need to, you need to catch a marlin. One time. Now, you may catch that marlin and go, to hell with that. But you need to do it just to experience the, sh the power of a marlin. Man, my favorite fishing memory. A lot of people fishing in Eupora, Mississippi with my grandma. Memory that I'll never forget. I mean, I can picture it. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs>